you might have heard about protein, carbs and fat from somewhere or maybe from your friends who go to gym. Ever wondered what those are? So in this video, I'm going to talk about protein, one of the favorite macronutrients of bodybuilders and athletes. So by the end of the video, you'll come to know what protein is and how it affects your body. Hey guys, Ehbar Ajay from properfitness.com and this is going to be a three video series on macronutrients. Everything you eat will be broken down into protein, carbs and fat. So in this video, we are going to be talking about protein. So the word proteins come from a Greek word protos, which means of prime importance. Protein itself is made up of smaller units called amino acids, which is also referred to as building block of protein. A gram of protein contains 4 calories, which means for every 100 gram of protein you eat, you're getting 400 calories. And if you haven't already watched my video on calories, you can click right here and watch it, where I have given a proper explanation of what a calorie means. All living tissues are made up of 22 amino acids, out of which 13 are non-essential amino acids, which is produced by our body, so we don't have to worry about it much. And remaining nine are the essential amino acids, which are to be provided through a diet via protein. So there are three types of protein. Number one is complete protein. These are the kind of protein which contain all the nine amino acids. The main source of complete protein can be meat, dairy or eggs. And number second is incomplete protein. These are the kind of protein which, uh, which contain at least one amino acid and there's a lack of balance in this protein and common protein like protein from peas grains and beans contain incomplete protein and number third is complementary protein complementary protein is a kind of protein which people combine two incomplete protein to get complete protein such as rice and beans when you combine rice and beans you get complete protein but rice and beans by itself don't contain complete protein so what protein does? Protein is used by the body to repair, maintain and build muscle tissues. If you want to get the best result from your training program, then proper nutrition is critical and protein plays a prominent part. Our bodies can do three things when you eat protein. Number one, put protein in fat stores. When you have too much food, when you have too much calorie in your diet, then the protein that you eat will be converted to fat. And number second, the protein that you eat will be converted for energy source. If you don't have enough amount of carbohydrates and fat in your diet, then it will be converted to energy source. If you haven't already watched my video on carbs and fat, then you can click somewhere here. A little bit of marketing in the start, you know, I'm saying. Anyways, number three, protein will carry out the specific function that, that's meant to do. When you have enough amount of protein, carbs and fat in your diet, then the protein will do the specific work that's meant to do like replace old cell uh, improve blood quality uh, build muscle tissues build your skin your hair your nails and it also takes part in enzyme formation hormones and antibodies fasting your body without proper protein intake will slowly cause your body to start shutting down you should not only eat the right amount of protein you should eat the right type of protein and if you have if you are a protein deficient in your diet then you might see some problem like you will feel the weakness the problem with your hair your nails and your skin and you'll also see the muscle loss these are the common problem with the protein deficient diet for a normal person your body needs 0.8 gram per kg of your body weight for, for example if you are 70 kgs then you will need 56 gram of protein per day to just to maintain your muscle mass that you have and if you are somebody who goes to gym or you are an athlete then you might need a little bit more but that is another topic for another day and write down in the comment section below what's the amount of protein that you have on daily basis some of the good sources of protein can be uh, chicken beef and fish as it com contain complete protein and also beans and lentils uh, low fat dairy can be a source of good protein so guys that's it for today that was video on protein i hope this has helped you understand what protein is
And if you like this video, press that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. And thank you for watching till the end.